In today's Food is Medicine, we sent Brad Wills out to get a health boost. He's in Solana Beach trying vitamin injections. And good morning to you. So we take food as medicine on the road with clinical nutritionist Krista Arecchio from thewholejourney.com. And today we're talking about something different. We're not talking about food necessarily. We're talking about a bag, an IV drip of vitamins. Um, I asked you, is this something that's new or is this something that's been around? Well, in our world, it's been around for a while, but in general, in the mainstream, I think a lot of people don't know about vitamin IV therapy as a way to feel better much quicker and as a way to bypass the digestive system to just get straight nutrients into your body. Yeah, you talk about nutrients straight into the body. I walk in the door, I get hooked up. So what are the effects? What am I going to feel? How does this benefit me? Well, so what we're talking about today is the power of the most powerful antioxidant in the body. It's called glutathione. It's the master antioxidant that really supports liver function and cellular health. And so this is something that you wouldn't normally take or buy in a health food store in the way of vitamins. You come in here and you get supercharged and then your liver works better and you feel healthier. The studies show that when your glutathione levels are optimal, then you feel better, you sleep better, you have less joint pain and even better mental emotional health. Yeah, we're in Solana Beach at the Shine Natural Health Center where this is happening right now. And Dr. Lauren Noel is the one who's kind of administers this to everybody. You just hooked Chris up a minute ago. What are the effects that she talked about? How long does it last and how often should I do this? Well, the effects last depending on the person and where their levels are starting off. Mm -hmm. So I would say a few days, and if someone's really depleted, they need to come in a few times to get their levels built up. Glutathione is so powerful. There's 76,000 studies supporting the use of glutathione, wow. and conditions like Alzheimer's, um, Parkinson's, diabetes, heart disease, all these conditions tend to run low in glutathione. So it's a very powerful nutrient to prevent disease and also treat it. Okay, what kind of clientele are walking through the door? Is it young? Is it old? Is it athletes? Is it all ages, I'm really glad you actually brought up athletes because when I test for glutathione, the people who have the lowest levels are the elderly and athletes really? because they tend to have higher free radicals in their systems. So they need to have even more of their antioxidants. Okay, from start to finish, when I do sit down and by the time I walk out the door, how long is it going to take me? It's about 30 minutes. You come in, we take your vital signs, we have you talk with the doctor, and then we get you hooked up. Well, that's quick. Yeah. In and out. and make you feel a lot better. Krista, I mean, you're, you're feeling the effects. You're going to do this today. So what's the rest of the day going to be like for you? Well, I have a big day of filming today, Brad. So getting what we call glutathione push is going to make my day go a lot easier, a lot smoother. I'll have more energy, and I won't have the 3, 4 o'clock dip. Okay. All right. This is so neat to see something different besides. We always talk about food, which is great, yeah. but to see the actual effects of maybe the vitamins going directly into the body and what the effects will be later on is fantastic. Because this is food as medicine, I want to list five foods that help with glutathione. Oh, go ahead. Okay, yes. we've got rosemary, asparagus, avocado, raw goat's milk is very helpful if you can find it. And here's one that I don't know if you guys at home would be willing to do, but raw eggs. Highest quality available. Really? They should be pasture raised eggs, okay. but all of those foods would be high in glutathione and your cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables, yes. That was, no, is that number six or is that number that's, five? That's your bonus that's one. That's bonus number one. six, the whole family of cruciferous <laughs> well, vegetables. I'm glad you threw that in there. So, we are going to tie in food as medicine. It's so cool to see all of this. If you want more information on how this process works or you want to get a hold of Chris at thewholejourney.com, go to our website, fox5sandiego.com, and just take a little IV drip and click on that scene on tab. We're in Solana Beach, guys. We'll get it back to you. Really good stuff this morning.